Hey guys, welcome to Wide Family Farm. Today I'm going to be harvesting uh, more stuff. Um, we had some major storms over the past few days. Um, so I'm just trying to clean up, um, get stuff in order today, and hopefully harvest pretty much as much as we can. Um, uh, we had our trellis uh, our trellises have completely collapsed, so my husband has to go to the store and get some more zip ties and stuff like that so we can tie them back up. But it was mainly our cherry tomato plants, so it wasn't that big of a deal, but they still tipped over nonetheless, so we got to get that. Um, I thought maybe I could just show you what I'm working with and how much I'm harvesting today, and I got a ton of basil, one ton of lemon balm. Um, it's just coming on really strong right now. So let's take a closer look. This is exciting guys. I got a red Spanish pepper. I've left it on the vine for a while to get this color. This is super exciting. else have issues with like these I'm going to it's the safety and though the safe this thing moves around so much and when you go to clip it moves up and then you can't do it so I'm thinking about taking the screw out of this thing it just saying forget it forget the safety because it's driving me insane Cherokee purple. This is by far the largest Amish paste tomato I have ever seen. It actually looks like a cross. It could be a part of a beef steak. That's how big this thing is. I just have a ton of these. Like I said, I didn't think Amish paste were supposed to get this big. It's crazy.